Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I have some not so good news to share with you this morning because when I woke up and checked my plants this morning, because I don't work on Fridays, um, I noticed that this plant had some back bulbs which were starting to discolor quite a bit. You see, let me hold it in the sunlight. You see this discoloration? So I didn't trust that, and this one also had a bit of discoloration going on at the bottom. I didn't trust that, and I didn't want to repeat of what happened to my Zycopetalum, which had two whole back bulbs rot away before I did anything. So I decided to unpot this plant and take them off. Um, however, while doing so, I discovered something even worse than rotting bulbs. And I hope I can show it to you properly on the camera. I don't know how well you can see it on the camera. I can see, and I hope you can too, a sort of purple reddish ring around the rhizome here where the bulb was cut. Um, and for as far as I'm aware, that is the prime symptom and indicator of Fusarium. And Fusarium, I don't have any experience with yet, I just know the horror stories. Like whenever anyone has a case of Fusarium, everyone uh, gives them their condolences. So I'm afraid that this plant's probably going to die really soon. Um, which is a shame, because this was a plan given to me by my mother. She bought at a grocery store and then flowered her beautifully, and then she gave it to me to, you know, take care of. And it sucks when you lose plants like that. I'm hoping that I won't actually lose this, but the attitude I see on the internet suggests otherwise. And the other thing that sucks about Fusarium is that it's apparently very easy to spread through your collection. Apparently it spreads like wildfire if you share water. Now, thankfully, I'm not really in the habit of sharing water, with the exception of actually this particular plant, because I got this one from my mother together with a second plant. So this is the second plant that I got from my mother, which is um, a no ID, they're both no IDs, but this one looks like a um, Onsium Sweet Sugar. And I have shared water between them, just because they came together and they were both in the same quarantine, and yeah, I just wanted to you know, make it easier to water them. Um, I guess I've learned now that I shouldn't do that. I'm just happy that was restricted to this one. Oh, and actually one other plant that I shared water with a few weeks ago as well, which is this one here. I made a video on this one where I repotted it. It's the one that is also a no ID. It's like a pinkish, blackish flower. It's the one where I asked Annabelle to help me not get it and then she failed horribly at helping me not get it and I got it. Um, I, wa I, I watered this one with the other one recently. So I'm worried this one might now have a serum as well. And I'm not quite sure how to check other than just cutting the rhizome. Oh, by the way, this the plant was for serum. It looks like a... Brescia sheet of talking. So I was quite looking forward to having that one flower at some point actually. Let's see. You see that purple reddish ring around the rhizome? That's how you know you've got Fusarium. Is what I've been told. So not a happy day I'm afraid. I'm not quite sure what to do with this either because um, this plant was actually on the road to recovery. It had been neglected by my brothers after my mom uh, left the country for some time, so it was quite dehydrated and shriveled, as you can see here. But it actually had two new growths, one of which was, well, both of which are, were making decent progress on, on rooting. Um, so I thought, yay, this, this plant orchid is almost out of the woods, it'll be great. But now that I see the Hespicerium, I don't know how those are going to develop. And I saw that there was another eye plumping up here. One symptom that I know of a Fusarium is lack of vigor, which I'm so far not seeing in this plant. Despite the fact that it's clearly not at its healthiest point right now. It seems to not really have that much of an impact, maybe? Or maybe usually it's even more vigorous, I don't know. So I'm, I'm not quite sure what to do with this plant. So if anyone has any advice for me with how to deal with Fusarium, what to do with this particular plant, um, and how to check the other plants for Fusarium, um, please do let me know below in the comments because I'd be very interested to find out so that I just know what I can do better next time. Uh, other than, of course, not share water. I'm guessing that... Hold on, I'm just trying to get rid of these outer sheets. So yeah, if anyone has any tips for me on how to combat Fusarium and how to diagnose it in my other orchids without cutting them to little bits, I'd be very interested to know. 
And if you have any advice for what I should do with this particular plant, which really does look like it's on the road to recovery, please let me know. I'd be very interested to find out more. And yeah, other than sharing water, which of course I will not be doing again with especially these plants. If you, Again, if you have any tips for me, I'd be very interested to know. So that's all that I want to show you. Just some unfortunately unhappy news this morning. And thank you for watching and thank you for any help or advice that you can offer. I'll see you next time. Bye.